What up everybody, it's your girl July from Kickback Couture and today I have a really simple and quick tip to show you. I'm going to show you how to set up your mixes so that you can mix in mono. So basically in my template here when I click on my master insert you see I have this button mono and what it does is it places my entire uh, file, reason file in mono so that I can mix that way. So I'm going to open a blank template just in case uh, you do not just to make it easier and simpler for you to be able to see and not be distracted by my template so I'm going to start with a new empty plus effects and uh, basically just ignore all of this it has nothing to do with the mono so um, I'm gonna delete this and you could add this to the end of your chain, your master section, or at the beginning. It really doesn't matter as long as you don't have any other stereo with components affecting that signal flow. So what we're gonna do is grab the M-Class Stereo Imager. And we're gonna open this programmer. And uh, what we wanna do is get rid of all these settings. Um, they no longer apply because we're not using this this preset so gonna go ahead and hit command and reset all these buttons and then from here what I'm going to do is I'm gonna set this button up to change the width of the low band and the high band simultaneously so with that I'm going to click on M stereo right here and here we see button one but we could change it up here as well if we would like to I'm just gonna go with this one button one and let's go with low width and then let's also change this to button one so that we can also alter the high width and what we what we're gonna realize is that once we press the button we see these buttons these knobs right here are going back and forth from mono to wide so we have essentially created our mono button so the problem is when it's lit up it's wide so what we want to do is switch that so that when we when this button is lit up it's mono so that we know mono is on so all we have to do is reverse the values so 63 there and let's go down to negative 64 63 negative 64 now we have reversed the values and as soon as we press this button here we enable our mix to be mono and this button is also here in the master section so back to my template let's say we want to do a quick melody I'm going to go ahead and go to my trusty drenched by design MIDI kit looks like this and I'm going to drag in a file and I'm going to find a preset that has some width to it and then demonstrate this process hopefully you are wearing headphones so that you can hear the difference or you have some type of studio monitors if that uh, blew out your speakers <laughs> I apologize I did not expect it to be that loud all right so let's go ahead and try out this mono button this is mono and this is without the mono button this has 100 percent of the stereo width of the original sound this is going to put the song the entire song but since we only have one sound and mono just this one sound so if you like this video give it a like comment down below subscribe and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next i'm doing a q a and when i say q a i do not mean tutorial i mean you ask me questions about my life my experience school anything like that you can watch one and two and um i'll go ahead and throw up a video i think you should watch and uh leave some questions down below uh you might want to ask questions about producer grind or the mix by ali 
session that I attended, anything like that, just just let me know. It's all culture, kick back, and cook up. What up, everybody? July here again. I just want to remind you all that my Instagram, Twitter for myself, July, and Kickback Couture is up above. So make sure you give me a follow. Hit me up in my DM. Let me know anything you would like to know. Send me your beats. I want to hear what you guys are working on. And let's stay in contact.